Hey guys, so in this video I will be discussing the differences of the Snapdragon 835 and the Snapdragon 821. So the Snapdragon 835 is the latest generation processor from Qualcomm. It's a smaller processor, so you can essentially have a bigger battery. You do have a 27% increase in performance with that processor. You have 40% lower power consumption, longer lasting battery life. A35 was also designed with VR in mind, so virtual reality. A35 also supports Quick Charge 4.0, which is 20% faster than Quick Charge 3, which is on the Snapdragon 821. The A35 also does clock at higher speeds, running up to 2.45 GHz, as opposed to the A21, which runs at 2.4 GHz. So that's not much more of a clock speed. So that's a 0.05 gigahertz increase. But the A35 does run more cores. It runs up to eight cores as opposed to the A21, which runs up to four cores only. The A35 is also sporting the latest Adreno 540 GPU, which is 25% faster than the Adreno 530 GPU, which is in the A21. So the A35 can support up to a 32 megapixel camera as opposed to the A21, which can only support up to a 16 megapixel camera. And of course that's with dual cameras. So you can pair a better camera with a Snapdragon 835 processor, which in turn will give you way more detailed pictures. The A35 also uses the Snapdragon X16 LTE modem. Now the A35 does have more satellite coverage. It uses the QZ SS and the SBAS satellites. From my understanding, it's basically a satellite-based augmentation system. It basically supports a wider area of satellite connectivity. Another thing with the A35 is it uses a Bluetooth 5.0. And if you guys don't know what Bluetooth 5.0 is, basically Bluetooth 5.0 allows you to use two Bluetooth speakers independently. So you basically connect to one Bluetooth speaker and then you connect to an, another Bluetooth speaker. So what that means is you can have two Bluetooth speakers running from one device. Now you couldn't really do that with a Bluetooth 4.1, but now with Bluetooth 5.0, you do have double the data transfer speeds. So you could run two independent Bluetooth speakers from one device. If you guys did want to know more about that in depth, I will have a link to a video that MKBHD made explaining the whole difference between Bluetooth 5.0 and Bluetooth 4.1 in depth. So definitely check that out if you are interested in knowing more about that. So anyway, those are the key differences between the Snapdragon 835 and the Snapdragon 821. At least on paper, those are the differences. Whether or not you will get a huge speed increase between these two processors still needs to be seen, and not by benchmarks, more of more with gaming performance and stuff like that, and also overall better battery consumption. I hope this video did help. If it did, leave a like. And if you guys want to see more content like this in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.